C'est le slang de Montréal C'est comme, comme ça qu'on parle Ça varie en chaque secteur C'est comme, comme ça qu'on jase Vous savez les bijoux Ça fait partie du story de pack d'être un rappeur <rire> <rire> Bracelet, chaîne, pendentif, des grills, une bague de fiançailles. Peu importe le morceau que vous voulez, ils peuvent tout faire sur mesure. Chez le top bijoutier en ville, bijouterie Jamil. Allez les checker, ils ont deux localisations. Dans le cœur du plateau et un à Rosemont. Pour le meilleur prix en ville, dites le code promo RAPOLITIQUE. N'oubliez pas de suivre leur page Instagram at Jamil Jewelry. Investissez dans votre swag avec, avec de l'or. Il y aura toujours une valeur de revente. Yeah, what up, what up, bienvenue à notre émission de rap politique. Je suis Monsieur de Montréal. Je suis Kéké. Shout out à Ornitos. Vous savez déjà, vous avez une grosse soirée ce soir. Vous n'êtes pas horny. Buvez du Ornitos. Ça fait la job. Hashtag take the shot. Gros shout out à Munchies, yeah. le dépanneur exotique près de chez vous. Allez checker Munchies. Yeah, man. Donc, euh, mesdames et messieurs, on a un gros, gros guest oh, aujourd'hui. OK! Euh, du côté anglophone de Montréal. Yeah. Une femme euh, qui a été co par des noms comme Rock Marciano et Conway the Machine. Ouais. On va faire du bruit pour Chung! Make some noise! Hey, y'all, uh, what's up? Oh, oh, oh. Pour commencer, pour les gens qui écoutent, euh, tu parles français? Oui, je parle en français un petit peu. Oh, yeah. that's about it. <laughs> yeah. Bonjour, comment ça va? You know, okay. the basics. I know the basics. Fait que là, vous avez déjà compris, il y aura beaucoup d'anglais dans cet épisode-là. Mm. Désolé pour ceux qui ne comprennent pas trop l'anglais. On va essayer Oh, don't de... be sorry. Don't be sorry. <rire> you know how it is, whatever. Mais, you know, on ne va pas rentrer dans les affaires politiques. Les politiques. On est Montréal. I know, I know. C'est bilingue. I know, I know. speak French. You, know. you were born here. So let's talk about that. <rire> it's bullshit, but I hear you. Non, mais Montréal, on est bilingue. It's a real thing, though. It's for real. The yeah. languageism is real. Yeah. It's a real barrier, right? Yeah, it's crazy. Mais, t'es né ici? What? You're born here? I was born here, yes, yes. In La Salle? I was born in La Salle, but like when I was born in the 90s, French wasn't so, uh, it wasn't mandatory like that. It yeah. was really bilingual. It was really English. Just West Indians, you know? Because mm. so, you're from a yeah, Jamaican household. Yeah. You yeah. know what part of Jamaica? Kingston 13. Oh, Kingston. Oh, oh. Yeah. Top shot us in the <laughs> building. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Yeah, no, my, my parents are good people. They're yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> They're good Jamaicans. <laughs> like you grew up going to church on Sundays and stuff? Or? Saturday, Seventh-day oh, Adventist. Saturday, yeah. Seventh-day Adventist. Yeah. Oh, but I, oh, but I grew up. I grew up. Strict, strict. Yeah. Why do you have earrings, earrings though? though? Yo, you have earrings, earrings Why do you have though? earrings, though? What's up about that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's a thing. That's yeah. a thing. Yeah, yeah. Seventh-day Adventist. Yeah. You don't, yeah. You don't eat pork. You don't eat shrimps. Yeah, exactly. Well, now I do, now but before, do. before, like even now, I don't eat pork, whatever. Mm. Yeah, well, trim, never, yeah. yeah. Ça c'est les adventistes, mesdames et messieurs. Les adventistes. C'est strict. On oh, they pick and choose. They pick and choose what to follow in the yeah. Bible. <laughs> yeah. Especially the, the West Indies. This is all well, we I think Adventist is the Old Testament, if yeah. I understand correctly. C'est l'Ancien Testament. The law. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the law and really strict on certain things. So that's interesting to know. That's your upbringing. I, I, I wouldn't be able to tell. I grew out of it. I grew out of it in my early 20s, though. I got introduced to Islam. I was on yeah. it hard for a minute, but even that, like, I fell off of it. I'm not, I'm not on my dean at all. But there's no such thing as a perfect Muslim, a perfect Christian, or you know. Right. As long as I, you know, my heart is good and I do what I have to do, I pray, and you know. Oh, really? But when you went toward Islam, your parents weren't like, "What are you doing? They didn't want to disown you or something." Like, yeah, my dad, my dad, you see, he saw the Quran in my room and yeah. all these things. One time, he came in my in my place and he's like, you know. He's talking about the Quran and the Bible like it's Crips and Bloods. Like, you got to ah! choose one. <laughs> Which one are you? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, choose a side. <laughs> you know? I'm like, come That's on. Real, but was it more yeah. like Nation of Islam or really like uh, Islam? Islam. Like Islam. Islam. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah, because by Lionel Gru, you see the Nation of Islam yeah, sometimes mm -hmm. at the Metro. I don't know if they're still there today, but yeah. And though back in the day, they no, used yeah, to be there. Now, black, Jewish, Hebrew, oh, yeah. they're all in purple preaching in the street where? Oh, black Jews. Black Jews, yeah. Well, because... You know what's crazy? We can make up our own religion right now. Yeah. There's so many different religions like, like that come about like that wasn't like around. Right, right. Until like recently. Like, yeah. you know? And people follow it. Like millions of people follow Yo, it. Yo, we have a lot of followers. Rapolitik religions. 
Right ouais, here. on pourrait, I mean, non, je vais pas rentrer là-dedans. That's a little complex. Il a dit, tu sais quoi, t'allais faire? Ça serait été quoi, tes, tes, les trois premières lois de, de vrai politique, religion? Si tu si, si aurais pu avoir ta propre religion, ça aurait été quoi, les commandements? Non, mais comme les commandements, it's based on laws that mais we have today. Que, okay. I shall not kill, I shall not cover it, the other polygamie man's wife. Polygamie ou monogamie? <laughs> I shall not fuck a nigga wife. Non, mais monogamie, polygamie, it's, it's, that's it's between personal. you and your partner. Yeah, whatever. Because some countries, like in, in Senegal, for instance, they're allowed to have many wives, but the wives have to know about each other. Yeah. So yeah. if the girl's okay with that, wow. that's yeah. your business. Right. As, as long as it's I open heard, and I you heard guys... someone speaking on like that situation as if the man has many wives, but he's not sleeping with all of them. Ah. It's kind of like... Uh, a bit like a partnership so it's some craziness i'm like for sure he's fu- he's yeah, slamming yeah, all yeah. of them are you crazy well, of course and it's good while you're young but when you hit 50, 50 60, 60 you can't like, perform like that anymore like what six you know, rounds a night yeah. oh shit that right. <laughs> right. you're not gonna be able to do that anymore <laughs> so, so i don't think it's it's right it's Déjà, it. long term <laughs> c'est ça, là. i mean if you have wealth and and riches and wealth and, and yeah. like shit to pass down Yeah. Uh, to children that makes sense you know so yeah. you can have a bunch of children to kind of inherit it or yeah. whatever like multiply and you know that's why But, for men that have daughters make sure they go to school they have a good education so they don't have to depend on no man Ooh. oh <laughs> the son of the day or listen to her track i think it's 70 30 you go you want 70 and you give away 30 if we go into business with you 7.30. It's basically 7.30, which means crazy. Oh, it's 7.30. But I put 7.30 okay. because the song is sampled. It has a 70s vibe. Okay, so I, I get I it. So I added a zero. I put 7.30. Okay, I get it. I get it. And in the ad libs, I'm like, 7.30, shit crazy. 70, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, So yeah. if you kind of like. I get it. I get it. But yeah. So back to Texas. Yes, so sir. how come they call it Texas? Do you know the the story behind that? I'm um, shootouts early in the 80s. Well, the South, Texas, yeah. okay. A lot of shootouts. And it's because it's the There south was a certain of Montreal gang, too? The south, yeah, southwest. Yeah, southwest. And um, I think there was like a certain clique out there that was like making noise. And they were on like some cowboy shit. They used to roll with two guns in the oh, side of their yeah. pockets. <laughs> oh, shit. You know? But yeah. they were like West Indian. I think it was yeah. the West Indian. Yeah, yeah. Shit. In those days, Cowboys yeah. Cowboys vibe. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. you're rapping what? The Height, Early Project, Jean Brion Project. Where Jean are you Brion. from? Jean Brion. Yeah. Around you know, there. connaît les affaires, la politique. You know the yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know the like, shit. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh shit. So <laughs> you know the Brion. heights. These are the heights. Early. Yeah. Like. <laughs> oh my God. Chills in my body. <laughs> I love my hood, yo. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Fait Jean Brion. Okay, that's the part. Because we all know, you know, Newman, puis le Angrignon, uh, le Centre d'Achat. That's where you used yeah. to hang out in high school, is it? No. I used to hang out at the basketball courts, Hayward Park, Willette Park, um, certain, like, areas. We had, like, alleys and stuff we used to okay. chill in. Like, like secluded, secluded areas. We weren't really out there like that, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, me and yeah. my people. yeah. The regular kids were going to the malls and going to see movies. And, right, right, right. And, you know, stupid shit like that. Okay, okay. The regular kids. You went to Riverside or LaSalle Catholic? I went to a school in Lachine. I went to school Oh, you went Lachine. to Lachine? You. Yeah, I went to Lake uh, Lachine High, which turned into Lakeside. Okay, so you went to school in Lachine. Yeah, my parents wanted me out of LaSalle. Like, <laughs> Why? Okay. <laughs> you Too much know, violence? To, I'm gonna get into trouble. I'm gonna like mingle and shit. They feel like if I put her in a school outside of the hood, like a little far, she's not gonna mingle. Yeah, and I still wrong. mingled. Yeah, I still mingled in Lachine. <laughs> you made your own clique out there. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, then, there was no bus to take you to school then. Yeah. Oh, there was a bus that come, like yeah. a, a school bus. I'm talking. Yeah, that about. goes okay. from like picks you up around Angrion, yeah. brings you straight to okay. like drops me right in front of my school. Okay. So it's like, okay. It was convenient. Okay, okay. And mm-hmm. you did one to five, you graduated, everything? Yes, yes. Yeah, what kind of student were you? You seem like you might have been a trouble student, like yeah. making I noise was, in class. And I was. <laughs> depending, was. On, <laughs> depending on the subject, if I really like a subject and I really like the teacher, I'm quiet and I'm focused, you know? But a lot of times, like, the teachers weren't really doing nothing. They just pass you little papers yeah. and shit and be like, oh, okay, do this and do that. <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> It wasn't the best school, but... I went into um, high school with leukemia. I had oh. blood cancer. Straight really? up. Yeah. So from grade five to grade mid seven, almost grade eight, 
I went into remission. So it was like completely gone. Oh, oh, nice. So, you know, since grade eight, I've been good since I was like 13, 14, right? Okay, and, that's an um, experience, man. That's yeah, so like it's after scary. that, but like before that happened, like I was really careful. I was like, you know, quiet and like doing my thing. But once I realized that was gone and I'm like, okay, I'm not a life. Life. Oh again. God, life. I so started wiling out. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a second chance at life. Wow. Yeah. My older brother went there before me. When I went into grade seven, he graduated. So he wasn't there when I got there. Mm. So all the grade 11s, my first day of school, they're like, yo, you're um, so-and-so so -so so -so sister. So -so, yeah. I'm like, yeah. He's like, they're like, all right, yo, come to me if there's any problems. He let me. He told me I have to watch mm -hmm. out for you. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yeah. So I'm like, oh shit, I got, I got goons in here. And I, I'm like, okay, I'm good. Yo, I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> Just in there punking off people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but were you the only one in the in your family that had leukemia? It was uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I don't think it's hereditary. Yeah, it was. It was weird. It's not hereditary either. I don't think. No, yeah, it's just something. But it's a common. That's something scary, like diabetes. Uh, is hereditary, but once you beat it, can it like come it could, back? It could. It but, could. Huh? Yeah, but I've been blessed. Nice. Good. But yeah, and you, I know people you, you that do your checkups every too. year at the. I haven't, I haven't since the pandemic, but I, I was on it for like a yearly yeah, checkups, yeah, yearly checkups yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, no, it's important. Yes. It's nice. Important. And uh, yeah, so you were rapping because I think your older brother was into the music as well. You come right. from a household of music. Yeah. And you, you started writing on your own. I started writing on my own, yes. Um, I wrote in like, like I told you, when I turned into a freaking bad breed. I started writing in detention classes. <coughs> detention yeah. class. And so, like, and when I got kicked out of class, I would start writing in the in the little office where, like, they told me I had to go to this, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. This thing, the teachers. I'm like, yo, yeah, yeah, going yeah, crazy, yeah. going crazy in there, you know? Fuck your math class. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I kick your ass. I keep, I'm <laughs> counting money. Fuck your math you class. Know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? So... Yeah, but it wasn't nothing serious, you know. It, you it, didn't do high school shows at that time. You weren't doing no, shows. talent shows. No, no, it was all goofy. I like, like, no, I couldn't have done it. Okay, no. and it was French high school, like, uh, English high school. It I was mean. English, yeah. Because you, you, well, you, I would have done. The principal and the people would have been like, "Ah, oh, no, it's too much." Like you know, they're very PG. You know? Yeah. Because well, I think the law now, if your parents are from a different country, you have to go to French school now, isn't that? Yeah, it? that's yeah. what it, that's what it is now. Thank God I was born when I was born. Right. Yeah, exactly. It was before your time. Yeah. So you're able to go to English school. So now because of that, when you have kids, they'll be able to go to English school because you went to English school. Hopefully, when I have kids, I'm not here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Okay, like that. You're gonna you're gonna leave us like you're that. You're gonna, gonna pull us like in this. It's gonna be a one way ride. I'm out. Yo, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Y'all are stressing me out, yo. Yo, even Justin Bieber comes back. He has a Tim Hortons commercial. No, my family. I respect that. My family's gonna be here. My life is always gonna be here. Okay. But, but you're I not don't plan stay to stay here. here forever. No. No, why? I don't see um, a future here. Yeah, I don't. Especially as a anglophone. Anglophone artist, I understand. I understand, yeah. You know, we're not there mm -hmm. yet. We're not gonna skip to that part yet. We're gonna gradually yeah. get to that. Um, because now we're still okay. So now you at high you, school yeah. after high school. What did you do for my? Did you go to college or you? No, I had to finish certain <gasps> courses. Okay, okay. So I went to an adult center, mm -hmm. and like I finished that, but like it took a long time because all the hooligans was in the, the adult center. So like I was like distracted a lot. But after that, like I was basically just mingling. I was fucking around. I was fucking around most of the time. Okay. And um, getting into trouble, more trouble, <laughs> wrong people, hanging right. around the wrong people, wasted most of my life in my early 20s. So okay. I'm, I, I'm basically trying to catch up and get things aligned now. Mm. So I'm sort of a late bloomer. So all the youngins out there, if you have a passion or if you have ambitions, just like stay the course and fuck the dumb shit. You know, fuck the clicky shit, fuck that outside shit, because there's nothing at the end of that tunnel. Just stay focused, you know? I like this. I'm going to say that in French, parce que je sais bien qu'est-ce qu'elle dit. C'est un bon message, ça. C'est un bon message pour la jeunesse, comme ça sert à rien d'être cool au secondaire, puis tu es avec les gens cool, puis faire votre rebelle. Vous allez en payer les conséquences plus tard. Yo, tu veux, you don't want to be that guy that was cool in high school, and then 
on te voit comme 20 ans plus tard, on a dit, yo, c'est la bonne. On a dit, that's you, homie. And I see you with the man, homie. You know what I mean? That's a real bar. But this, like, something happened for you to make that switch? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but well, I'm not going to get into it. No? Patreon yeah. vibe! Because yeah. we have extra talk after the interview. So yeah. in Patreon. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so then finally you, you got your diploma, your high school diploma yes. at the end of it. Yes, And then you were doing your school. I went to a, a career center, hotel management. Oh, word. Worked in a hotel for mm. a minute around Dorval. Oh, oh, nice, okay. As a housekeeping supervisor. Okay. And you were getting the, giving the people's discount. I'm sure everyone was coming to check you. Yeah. I, I was giving discounts. I was getting stressed from the housekeepers because <laughs> it's like old, old uh, Jamaican and Haitian ladies that have been doing it for 30 years. Yeah. And then you have this little young girl coming to tell you what to do. Like, you know, examining yeah. the room to see if they did a good job, you know. They're looking like, look at this little bit. Mm. Yeah. Telling me if I did a good job. Nah, I've been doing this for 30 be, years. You're supposed, you're supposed to be my daughter. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but it was cool. And let's pause on that a minute. It's true. Because in, in those days, I don't think there's any beef like that anymore. But back in the day, there used to be beef between Asian, Jamaicans Asian, and Asians. Asians, yeah. That I know. Really and this rough. was your generation as well. It was going down like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, for I sure. Even, even till, this, till this day. Like, sometimes I go on Twitter and I see Haitians talking about Jamaicans crazy. I'm like, oh my God, y'all hate us like that? It's, oh my God. it's called a payback, man. We took oh. it all the nineties. We took shit, so now it's crazy. Like, y'all now used to get like shat. Y'all got used... shat on for no. real. Yeah, that's true. Y'all, it's y'all like... wasn't y'all, y'all wasn't saying nothing then. Yeah, but now until the Zoles and all them we came got around, yeah. stronger with them Zoles. <laughs> <laughs> but they talk shit. But they see a nice Jamaican girl, yeah, with like, oh. big booty, and be like, "What, yo? They're gonna wife that?" Oh, like, for sure. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, we all have dreads well, now. Yeah, like you know. So you know, say thank you. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Nah, but for real, my parents told me um, the old school Haitians were scared of Jamaicans because mm. we eat ackee and they use that. They they see it's a poisonous fruit. Mm. And I don't know if there's something else we eat that they use in their voodoo. Mm. Yeah. So they think we're crazy because we eat that shit. Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't but that's know like that an old story. Yeah, that's like a back, ackee like and old, saltfish. So the ackee so itself, it's, it's a poisonous fruit. So if you visa. eat if you eat that before it's ripe, you can. Yeah. Oh, okay. so, so you have to know when to eat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you'll die if you yeah. don't know. Like, Straight that's up. Some, yeah, that's some zombie talk. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's an interesting story. Yeah. Because at the end of it, you know, they're all cousins. They're all related. They're just different yeah. stops on the boat, right? Exactly. Yeah. That, you're From you're Africa, talking. we just stopped at different stops. Yeah, black people come on, are weird like family. that. Yeah. yeah. And you already had the name Chung in high school? or No. Stush. Oh, I was Stush? Yeah. Stush in Jamaica uh, is a Jamaican uh, term meaning like stuck up. Okay, okay. Like someone you can't talk to. That's she's a stush. West Side You used to be too. stuck up like, oh, why are you talking to me? Like, I don't know you. I, I didn't talk to people much. No? And I didn't have much friends. Like, people be like, why is she so quiet? Why is she there? Why is she don't talk? They thought I was stuck up, but I just wasn't like, I wasn't into making friends like that. We're no random friends. Hmm. I just kept my little circle and that's it. Yeah, but I became social uh, socialite a little bit later on. But that whole time I was stush because I will talk to you if I feel like I could feed like I like like I like your energy, you know. I can yeah. feed off of you, shit like that. But. And did and you play she, sports in high school? I used to play tennis. Oh, where? Um, basketball. I knew how to play it, but I never tried out for the teams. Like okay. I always. Everybody be like, try out for the team, but I never did. So, but tennis is good. Yeah, tennis yeah. is nice. I'm trying to be the ser- next Serena. Next but. Serena mm-hmm. Williams. You gave up. Yeah. <laughs> pour la, st- <laughs> pour la street. <laughs> <laughs> you gave up. Oh my gosh. You gave up for the street life, <laughs> right? Street life. <laughs> street life. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh-huh. And uh, so then now the music started calling you from the hotel scene. You, this, you, the, is, when did the music start? You hooked up with who first? Was it Cola? Is that the first no, person? No, Craven. It was Craven, Craven first. Craven was, Craven was get, get, like getting his buzz. Like, you know, he was starting the buzz out it, 2018, 18, 2019. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So like at the time, I stopped rapping too because everybody was doing trap music. Mm. Right? And that's not my vibe. And no one wanted to hear that shit. But when I seen Griselda and everybody... You know, I I caught on late because I, I heard they were doing it like 10 years prior, but I didn't know. Mm-hmm. 
I ran into uh, Nicholas Production on the internet. I thought he was a black dude too. <laughs> until yeah, I met him. Yeah. And so I seen him. I seen him. So, so I seen him soul. and yeah. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. I'm like, you white? I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, so anyways, yeah. So I did like three songs with him in 2019. It's online, you guys connected? Yeah, on Twitter. Okay. He was still in Gatineau at that time? No, he was out here, but like um I guess we saw each other because of mutual people we follow, like Ransom. Yeah. And yeah. like he's into the same artist I'm into, yeah. okay. so we kind of like seen each other shit and like linked up that way. It was kind of inevitable, you know, yeah, destiny, yeah. destiny, destiny, if you will call it that, you know. But um, yeah. After after Craven, shit was a little quiet, and then I picked up again with Katola. Katola, yeah. Mister Chung, la tete Chung déjà là. Yeah, I was Chung. Chung. And Chung, uh, it was Chung Lee. It was Chung, it's Chung Lee, but I took the Lee off because uh, Nicki Minaj. No, oh, wait, I track Chung Lee. So I go yeah. track Chung Lee. So that's just, just because but my, of name her. Was, but my name was Chung Lee forever. But when that's so you don't came speak up, no Cantonese, Mandarin. No, I just dropped some Neho Neho Lang. You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Neho. I just, <laughs> like, I just like Asian food. And you don't know that, okay? Yeah. Well, then again, there's a lot, and people don't know this, but there's a lot of Asians in the West Indies, like in Trinidad and yeah. Jamaica. For sure, like there's a lot of Chinese if people. If you go to Asia, all them, all of them are dressing like and acting like black people do. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, <straight exactly>. up. <laughs> don't say nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have any in your blood. You don't know if uh, your I probably do, but it's really a uh, Hindu, white, and black. Oh yeah, you have Hindu. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about the Asian side. I don't think I got Asians. A lot of okay. black people just have chinky, like shape eyes. Yeah. It really was based off of my eyes in the Street Fighter oh, shit because yeah. I used to fight a lot and whatever. So like it came up from that and my eyes were always chinky because I smoke a lot and shit. Oh. Okay. Oh, so you were a real goon. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so you're He's a like, real oh, goon. Okay. So, <laughs> no, I wasn't. That's I wasn't. a resume of all this. No, but I thought it was really Basically the video you were a goon, game. right? No, no, no. So it's not a video <laughs> game. It's really you were the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, you thought it was from like the Street Fighter. Yeah, I Chung like Lee, to play yeah. Street Fighter. Like, yeah. <laughs> Chung Lee. <laughs> It okay. comes from that though. Yeah. Okay. It stems okay. from that. Or, or you know what I'm saying? Okay, it originates all from these that. Things, so you were a goon. Yeah. No, I was not a goon, guys. Stop <laughs> telling the people that. No, but but you know you know how to box as well? Yes. Yeah. Very you good used at to boxing. fight. Yes. Very good at boxing. You were starting the martial fight. Or arts. Or you you were did martial yourself. arts a little bit. I didn't I didn't I didn't it. go to classes for it okay. or nothing. But my high kicks is crazy. <laughs> my high kicks is crazy, <laughs> and I'm nice with my hands. Straight up, that's it. That's it. Straight up. And oh man. I, I walk. I also walk away from a lot of fights because I know what I'm capable of. I don't oh, like. Okay. I'm, I'm like when you say like a goon. I'm thinking like somebody just out here wild and trying to prove a point. Like yeah. that. That's not what I'm on, or, yeah, not, or yeah. what I was on. Like yeah. So, before it was more like you used to fight. And then, you know, you accept, like, you know, you lose or you win. But right now, it's not about fighting. Everybody has weapon. Everybody yeah, exactly. Shows, so it's the same thing. Right yeah, exactly. That too. Not the well, same that's, ever. well, yeah, that but too. depends. Girls on girl, a little less. I have less. a song on the new EP talking about that. Like a little one, For two real? lines about that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. No, girls right now, they have to. They're have quick. to. Have to. You didn't hear about um earlier this morning in LaSalle? Yeah, no. I saw that. that this uh, girl that a got woman stabbed in LaSalle up, got stabbed. stabbed yeah. up at 29, uh, pregnant. She was with her kids. Yeah, she got All stabbed. All three of her kids. And she's like in the car with her kids. And this <clears> guy <throat> came and just stabbed her up. And then two days before, this this guy was sitting in, sitting in his car. And somebody came and shot him in the car. But he survived the shot. Oh, wow. The same so dude? Let's, no, no, it's a whole different then, a whole different incident. Still in LaSalle? Yeah. Wow. So LaSalle's going crazy right now. Everybody's tripping. Mm. Yo, this so, oh, they stopped this lady up. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. That's mental crazy, illness man. though. A lot of people are outside with yeah. mental illness. They're tripping. They're bugging. People are would I f- I feel like people are naturally crazy, but the the pandemic enhanced yeah. a yeah, lot of shit. Yeah. Like they like they probably like lost out on opportunities or they have nothing to live for. There's a lot of people out here that have nothing to live for. Yeah. And they're just out here just like, fuck it. Like, you know, we outside react, reacting like, and, and yeah. you know, projecting and shit. They're outside with it. But did you feel like the pandemic pressure on you too? On your mental health? On uh, the violence outside? No, you personally. How did the you, how the did pandemic? you deal with yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, that definitely messed with my mental health, people, but I know how to hide it good. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm. And I had, and I know the Lord, and and I, I'm I'm raised a certain way, you know. Mm. So I don't let. And I've been through like uh, like I told you, I've been through shit before. Like I've been through hard shit before. So it's not like the virus gonna fucking break me. Yeah, it kind of helped me like get in tune with me too at at the same time. Because you know, so certain people for me it was good because I needed to sit down a yeah. little bit. Like the certain li- people the fast life. To, yeah. yeah, and then so, no, well, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> you the fast life. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta slow down Not, a little bit, right? <laughs> yeah, no, just like in general, yeah. like just like doing too much. Mm. Like with the music, I was like doing mm. too much, and sometimes that's stressful. Yeah, it's stressful, you know. So that little break was cool. But an artist at my level, you know, that that type of shit isn't necessary, right? I should be going full throttle all year round. Right. But that's what I was doing at one point. That's what I did last year. I tried to pick it up. 2020 was slow. 2021, I killed that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I took in, over 2021. Yeah, you Like, I went in. crazy. I got, fem- I got female it's rapper not- of the year last year, right? Yeah. From, from the main source. Because I was putting out mad videos. Yeah. Mad singles, freestyles, the EP, you know, whatever. This year, I wasn't feeling motivated, but I feel like the time I took off of it, people are going to be satisfied with the EP coming out. Mm. So. Yo, Cyrano, tu connais le magasin Prohibition? Shout out to High Times. C'est les boutiques qui vendent un peu partout au Québec des accessoires pour... Euh, Pourquoi? De... <laughs> Yo, yo, c'est quoi qui se passe là, je comme Attends, laisse-moi voir. Comme ça? Checker Prohibition, votre boutique préférée et fièrement montréalaise pour tout accessoire de. Hein? <rire> c'est ça que je te dis, bro. Pour ceux qui consomment une plante verte. Ah. En vertu de l'article 50 de la loi sur la réglementation du cannabis du Québec et sauf autorisation en vertu de la loi, il a interdit de promouvoir le cannabis ou un accessoire de cannabis ou tout service lié au cannabis. Pour plus d'informations, visitez prohibition.com. Prohibition, en vend ce qu'on ne peut pas dire depuis 1984. Munchies, le dépanneur exotique. C'est un dépanneur sur les stéroïdes. Ils ont des produits importés, friandises et boissons exotiques. Plus besoin de voyager pour découvrir les saveurs exotiques. Des friandises accompagnées de défis tels que le bonbon le plus épicé au monde, manger des scorpions, oh, des bugs. Oh, oh. C'est aussi une entreprise familiale. Allez-y, vous allez bien vous régaler. Saint-Martin-Ouest, Laval, Sainte-Rose, Sainte-Thérèse, Blainville, Saint-Jérôme, NDG, Sainte-Catherine, Boulevard Tachereau et bientôt à Kirkland. Utilisez le code promo RAPOLITIC pour un 15% de rabais en ligne et en magasin. Oubliez pas de vous brosser les dents. <laughs> And how did you get the cosign? Because I spoke about it in the intro. Yeah. Uh, Rock Marciano and Conway. Right. So how did it, they each come about? I just commented on one of their posts and I guess they clicked on my profile and they started looking through my shit. Uh, Rock, his first words were, you got a good pen. You got a good pen. Oh, no. So... so I was like, oh, thank you. And then we start, he's like, are you signed? And they were like, we start talking from then. Um, Conway, uh, I commented on his video. YouTube? Um, no, he posted it. It's on YouTube, but he posted it on Instagram. I commented on his video, but with a quote from a Noriega bar mm. that remind me of the video. <laughs> I think it was, um, I seen it a lot. One of them shits, mm-hmm. right? And he put... Um, somebody's somebody in the back of a trunk of a car or some shit mm. so i quoted nori and nas's song body, in, body the trunk. in the trunk i'm like there's a body in the trunk son so it's gonna be and he's like yeah that that was my song yeah <laughs> like he, he messaged me he's like yo that was my song and then from then like we just started connecting funny i'd be commenting i don't see them hollering at it's me like like that. exactly man what up with that though it's like exactly so does being beautiful help <laughs> yes <laughs> yes. up. No, it's being real a being a woman does, I guess. They attracted to women and yeah, not right? niggas. Unless you have unless you have some something to offer. Yeah. Fucking money or some shit. You, yeah, yeah. You're a popular media or like at the stage they're at in their life. Yeah, they're not yeah. just gonna talk to niggas like Yeah. So for sure they click and they check your profile out. No, she's not only mm-hmm. beautiful, she can rap. And she could rap. Yeah. It's respect it's respectable though. It's respectful. It's yeah. never you know. Even though that may be the case. Yeah, yeah, but no, they're gentlemen. I'm sure they're professional in what they do, right? So they know how to come correct. 
<laughs> so you haven't met any of them yet? I met Conway. Straight up. He came to Montreal um, in yeah, May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's another. Okay. And he told his people. He told his people. He had his people hit me up and I, and he brought me backstage for a bit. I, Straight up. I caught a couple of uh, songs and whatever. Straight up. And left. And yeah, never met Rock yet. But yeah. Maybe, yeah, you will, happen. I'm pretty sure. It's going to happen, yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, have you ever signed to anyone so far? No. Independent. But when you worked with uh, Kotola, it's Kotola? Yeah, Kotola. Yeah. So it's a joint you, venture, but I'm not signed to him. Okay, it was He a just joint, released it under his label. It's the project itself that was... Re he released it under his yeah. label because he did a production. Yeah, okay. And we have a deal. Okay, for that one project. So the one project at a time. Yeah. Okay. A little two-year contract. Okay, mm. okay, for that project. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. You guys had an agreement? Because his sound is... I, I blend with him. Yeah. I blend with him good. I mesh with him How did him you connect well. with him? Through a friend of mine. Mm. <laughs> what did you An old friend of mine. Because okay. we don't speak it. Why anymore. are you smiling? Huh? Why are you smiling? Because somebody else asked me this question and I'm laughing at the answer I gave them at, on, on the other interview. And he, but I'm not going to talk bad about her. Fait, 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 I'm not going to say anything bad about her. But okay, but so you guys... Interview, she's talking about... No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys clicked... And uh, musically speaking, I mean, and you guys were able to do the project together. Yeah. It's one project you guys did. One project, yeah. And we're working on, we already start the second one. Okay, oh yeah. But I had to stop because he, he was in school for some media shit. He's trying to step up his camera game and all that. Okay, it's enough So time. I was working with Shab and Craven in the meantime. Right. Right. So once I drop this, I'm going to go finish up everything with Katola and drop a second EP maybe uh, late November. Or mid November. Mais est-ce que c'est à travers uh, Kotola that you met uh, King Shadrock? Or you knew yes. already? I met him through. I met King Shadrock through uh, Kotola, yeah. Yo, Shadrock is. Dope. I didn't know he was like out here like that. Yo, you, he's a legend. I used to work with him in 2008. But he's from the East Side. Is he? Is he Jamaican? Yeah. He's Jamaican, but there's Jamaicans on the East Side. Ouais. Well, not a yeah, lot. You're probably going to go to the right. Maybe less, yeah. Because I never heard of him. There was Sampalu. Sampalu was yeah. the guy. In, in yeah, I him I heard of him, yeah. 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 I don't Kitchen know. Rock, he's he been here for a long time. He's been here. But there's not really a lot of Jamaicans in the West. No. It's more in the West. Yeah, they're more in the West, in West, in general. Yeah. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's one, like... No, there could be some, some... I know a lot of Jamaicans that speak French fluently. Yeah. Because yeah. they, they were raised in, the, in a bilingual area. Right, right. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And uh, there's also an artist, Jamaican. He's Jamaican and Haitian. Yeah. You never heard of him? Yeah, I did. I think he hit me up. Jamaican, what? Look how she said that. Yeah, I think she yeah. did. <laughs> Shout out to Jamaican. <laughs> so he was Jamaican and Haitian, yeah. bro. And right. he, he had he both cultures. Up, My no? cousin's Jamaican and Haitian. She's a lovely person. Oh, yeah? yeah. You know? Oh, okay, okay. So like, qu'est-ce que ce mix fait? You Jamaican know, a lovely Jamaican. person. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. Yeah. Well, real, when I, I went to Jamaica and fresh off the plane, the first person I met working at the airport was a Haitian man. Like so, nah, but like because when y'all shit got flooded out and fucked up, y'all yeah. came on a boat like, hey, yeah. come help me, please, that's and we it. let y'all in, yeah, and then y'all be on Twitter talking shit. Yeah, that's right. Like yeah. what the fuck? No, but that's the ones here. Like <laughs> it depends. We can't we still we can't, we can't turn them away on the boat. We still look at bitter these, by the nineties bullying. Yeah, there was a lot of bullying <laughs> back then. Yes. Right? This is what happened. And Irv Gotti, y'all, Irv Gotti's. <laughs> Yo, holding grudges for 20 years. Yeah. No, that, that was lame of his. That was a little lame. Yeah. How, uh, he was whack no, for no, that. No, no, he was. Uh, no, he was whack for that. Yeah, like kissing. Yo, kissing and telling still less. Yo, can I spark yeah. up? I'm about to spark up. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Of course you can. But I went. He's seeing what I'm talking about. I gotta use the bomb. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. So, light up. <laughs> it's a clue. You, you have a light? No, no, no. It's a, this is a... Keep going, This man. is a, a smoke-friendly show. There's no problem. Sponsored by... Yeah, shout out uh, Loud Pro Village. Shout out... Uh, Prohibition. Prohibition. We're here. You know We're live. Yes, for yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, because I, I didn't... I didn't <laughs> have one. For sure. I need 
have one ready here for you. I think this one is out. Ooh. Sophisticated. That's a torch. That's a torch, you know? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I've been blazing with you. It's just I'm recovering from a cold. I don't want to start coughing right now. Oh, no. The... I, yeah, I don't really share spliffs. No, no, no. Oh. I mean, I would have blazed my own. Blaze your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really share yeah we, yeah, we have our own. No, we I... have our own trees. We have trees for you and everything. Thank you, babe. No, oh, my God. No look at me. Problem. Look at me dripping all over myself. No, that's all good. Of course, it's <laughs> all good. That's all good. All, for sure, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> that's all good. You know, that's all good, man. That look a little, you know. Nigga, drip, drip. That's it, y'all. Focus. Focus. <laughs> all right, what's going on? Yeah, moving on. Uh, where were we the stories now? We were on parlait avec le, le connect avec Cotola. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's been in the game for a long time, this Mais guy. Oui, il était avec uh, Metazone avant. Yeah, Metazone. Yeah. Uh, Obia le chef. Obia le chef. Et puis... And you have my guy. Yeah, yeah, you work with him. So, Not Obia, no. No? No, but we couldn't. We talk all the time. Okay, yeah. We're going to, though. We're going to do something together. Because I see he likes your stuff. He posts yeah, your he stuff. Yeah, I see the lover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of the Cotola link up. And also, he's good. I'm like... We fuck with each other's shit. But do you listen and understand what OBI is saying? Because he's one of the nicest... I just catch the flow. Yeah. And sometimes I understand what he's saying. Okay. If I listen attentively. Yeah. But like, he's like one of the top French lyricists in the game. Yeah. Definitely. I, uh, yeah, for sure. He's older. He's like in his 40s. <laughs> I don't know. About I don't know. <laughs> Katola, Katola, I didn't know he was an OG like that until yeah. later on. Like, like, like later down the line when we, mm -hmm. when we were working. People are like, you know, he's been in the game. Yeah, he had a band. I'm like, oh, shit. I didn't even know. I just respected his work and started working with him. It, was, it wasn't off of like, oh, like, you know. So the best way to learn French is get yourself a French man. <laughs> you know, a good French man. Uh, uh, oh, oh, a good me. French man. <laughs> That's a subliminal message. Not even a French friend? Like a French man. Nah, not French man. <laughs> well, I mean, because then he's really going to be there, you know? Oh, 24, so, so you never dealt with a French man before? When I say French, it could be from anywhere. It could be anywhere. Quebecois, yeah. Haitian, Guadeloupe. But French. Yeah, yeah. French, Arabic, French is French, yeah. 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 No, I haven't. Wow, discrimination. I, no, it's not even like I, like I don't want to or like I is. I, I haven't. I just haven't. It hasn't happened. No. Okay. I think like the communication would be off. Uh, not no, I mean, no, love is just, it's a language. Yeah. Like you want to eat? Oh, je vais manger. Okay. Uh, you want to have sex? Oh, oui. oh just, just, no, like, but you're probably right. Like, cause I have French friends, and I didn't. I still. I still don't know French. Yeah. Because my French friends speak English to me. Right. Know? Right. So. Yeah. Okay. I get your ashtray is there, right? This is the. <laughs> On this. your left. I thought this. it was this one the whole time. Oh, okay, oh wow, yeah. this is a, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sophisticated. All right, oh. you know. Oh, look this is at pretty. You. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. this you is got pretty. a fancy. But in respect there. on your name. Yeah. I'm there leading forward. I'm like, goddamn, yeah. what's happening? Yeah, yeah. Mais voilà, voilà, voilà. <laughs> yeah, yeah. um, est-ce que tu tu sens que ton style est accepté au Québec the drumless kind of beat people love this vibe or because there's no I get a lot of yeah I get a lot of I get love not a lot let me not let me not lie I get more love from America than uh, Montreal Quebec right yeah but people out here they reach out to me for shows and shit like they yeah. still fuck with my shit and like whatever and I have a few people French people that like my stuff too. They still listen to my stuff even even though they're French, dom uh, yeah, predominantly and stuff. So, the language barrier is an issue, and I get it. And you know what? I'm happy you were able to bring back Boy Blue on that collabo you guys Yo, did. Boy Blue, he's a dope artist. Yes, you know? my guy. And you know, I was expecting him to come back and yeah. drop some more music it's when we started the podcast. Because it's like when we started the podcast, it, it, that's when he I, he kind of drifted away from the music. I find. Même avant. Because he kind of disappeared. Même depuis 2014, he was not really doing music. Yeah, like yeah. he kind of... He's from LaSalle? I don't even know. Is he from LaSalle? Where is he from? From LaSalle, Bergs. Okay. 
Like, anyways, he was doing he was doing Yo, it big at one point. One of point. the first that had one million yeah, views, views on the, on the video. Because I was following a lot of the English scene. The hometown. Oh, yeah, hometown. hometown. Yo, he killed it. He killed yeah, it. Yeah, he made an anthem for the city. Yeah, yeah. that was an anthem for the city. Yeah, boy, blue, so when blue, I saw you brought him back, I was like, shit. That's and, my boy. And he killed we it. Up, he, he, we grew up with each other. Okay. okay. Yeah. And he killed it, you know. On the, he, we he went dropped to high school with each verse. other. I mean, we went to high school. We didn't grow up with okay. each other like that. Okay, Elashin the high. And he, you know, he dropped a dope verse and everything. I was like, yeah. all right. So I'm like hoping he, he maybe he'll come back and maybe he he'll probably see this. And he was recording. He's always in the studio. He's sitting on mad songs right For now. Real? Okay, but he's, he's one not, of those. But he's not putting it out. Okay, I, don't know I get it. It's well, therapeutic. He wasn't putting it out a certain way. I yeah, guess. yeah. I don't know. Well, it's therapeutic as well. When you're an artist, when you have it, you're, like you're not gonna stop. Doing yeah, exactly. It. No, it's in you. It's like, in you exactly. Yeah. So you just record, record, and. Yeah, because okay. he still does music, but okay. he didn't put nothing out. I don't know okay. why. Okay, okay. Well, I didn't, really, I didn't really ask, so. Well, maybe you'll be in a position eventually, you know, to come back and be like, yo, what's popping? Let's put out some music yeah. now. I got you. I'm with, you know, Griselda right now or something. I would you definitely know? put him on. I, I, yeah. I love Boy Blue. I love him. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty sure you're, you're going to be one of those that's going to come back and see who's popping in the city. And I think that's good. Even though you want to move from here, you're still going to keep an eye out for what's right. happening here. Yeah, for sure. All right. I would never, I would never forget Montreal. Right. Disregard Montreal. Yeah, exactly. Rep Montreal. <laughs> because never. you know what? I think the English scene here, you know. It's just the, that I don't get that. I don't feel like I get that much love. No, <laughs> I don't get that much love hard. like I should. So I, yeah, I, I, I it's you know, hard. it's hard here. I, I see why you're saying like, don't forget Montreal, yeah, because yeah. like you know, because yeah. I get it. C'est vrai. We don't show enough love to the English artists here because of the, it's politics, and it's deeper than rap. The politics it has nothing to do with the music. It's from before we were here. They already had this politics between French and English. Yeah, it's like before the, our time. The English artists didn't didn't like. I didn't know about grants. Until like last year. Oh, yeah, for real. I didn't even know the government gives grants yeah, to artists. Yeah. They know. I didn't know that shit until last year. A French person had to tell me. Yeah, that. yeah. This He's is like, this is why they had these big videos with all that budget. It's, mm -hmm. not, it's yeah. not from their pocket. Yeah, everything's yeah. coming out of my yeah. pocket. And people are like, yo, you know you can get grants and shit. What? But like, when he told me that my EP wasn't <gasps> out, you kind of have to have a resume yeah. in order to get one. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't mean you're going to get approved because you applied for it. Right. You have but to have, real, you you have, to have yeah. work. You have to put work in. Yeah. yeah. But now that you know for sure, and there's people that that do a living just by applying for grants for you. You pay them like, or if you get approved, yeah. they'll be like, I want 20% off whatever yeah, I get for you. There is grant you know? writers that, you know, write yeah. for big labels. I would love to do that. You give $200. I would, and I would love to write for artists. I don't want to just be on the scene all the time. I want to do behind the work scene too. Yeah. Yeah, you want longevity, yeah. But you never thought to do a uh, featuring with a French rapper? That would help. Yeah. With the same style, Con Con Connoisseur? Oh! Connoisseur! Connoisseur, c'est casse. Non, non, pas connaisseur, connoisseur. Je suis pas dit, connoisseur. Yeah. 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 I mean, he reached out to me to work. For oh, word? Yeah. So. No, dope. Yo, you need to jump on that, yeah. That's going to be a Because good exposure. I might, I might, I might, he's, he reached out to me, right? But I might send him a Nicholas Craven B and just like yeah. do something on a Craven B or Mike Shop. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> and I think this is her strength in Montreal. And a message to all the English artists well, out there. Work with some French artists. They will help you at least to get yeah. known towards the French clientele. Yeah, that crossover. That yeah. crossover market. Saïd mm -hmm. K. Benz. You know K. Benz? No, I don't. No, but is K. Benz is a big one. Yeah. He's English. English, but... Well, because he, he fucks a lot with the French artists. Well, that was the fact that he's Haitian, so he fucks a lot right. with the French side, so that helped him he as well. He knows French and shit. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, he knows French, so he's able to fuck with the French artists. So he does a lot of collabs with French rappers. Right. So his name is buzzing around town. Right. Uh, and he's, I think he's in L.A. He's all over the place, this guy. So I think this I'm, is... I'm going to L.A. next week. Yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the move as so, well. Like, yo, I hear what you're saying, I but hear yo, what you're saying. Like I'm going to LA next week. Yeah. So like, yo, go where you celebrate it, yeah. not tolerate yeah. it. I'm going yeah. to work. I'm uh, hopefully shoot a video out there. Yeah. Link yeah, with some people, sure. do some music. You gotta do and, that. Yeah, yeah. You know. But this is the strength we have here: is the bilingualism. You gotta you see it as a strength and not yeah. a 
not something that's going to cripple you. You got to use it as a benefit. Like so, eight bars or even a hook, you can put the little French in it. Yeah, yeah for sure. For yeah. sure. For sure. Make yeah. some magic happen yeah. with someone. Even in yeah. these days, people say, oh, yo, you put some French in the air, you probably put Francais. Oh, for real, yo. Yeah. Bro, I could say some random shit. They'd be like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah they'll be like, it's hot, it's hot. Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah. They'll mm -hmm. love it, honestly. Because <laughs> I think it's important uh, for us uh, to combine our forces, yeah. right? And I think that's, that, that's, that's a positive thing. So moving on now with chung chung so where was chung chung is just your youtube uh? yeah i just put <coughs> chung chung it's it's just chung but i put chung chung because like it it's both it's both but ultimately it's chung yeah but you could say both you could say it twice so now is the, the, you know do you follow the the english scene here i do even though you don't know who k bands is yeah um Because there was, there's Tylene that's hot. I think she's an English female English rapper. Okay. You know about her? Yeah. But you guys don't fuck with each other like that, or? Um, I don't know her. Okay, okay, okay. But like, I I see her on Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think she got potential. I mean, you know, I like to see female rappers come come in the game, and I think they're starting it's like to. They be don't like to collab together. Every time I'm asking a female rapper, yo, mm -hmm. why don't you collab with another female rapper? No, why? Pourquoi ça devrait juste être comme a female um, rapper? It, well, they don't uh, well, like all that female stuff. I don't know. Well, with that particular person, we have two completely different sounds, so it wouldn't really mesh together. If that well, it's true, it's not the same. But at Montreal, I think you have just your lane. Like, no, who does what you do? And like, Nobody. the female side. Exactly. So you would have to collab with a guy. Yeah. Like who would rap like? No, anything? but in from a Quebec MCM, mais elle va pas savoir c'est qui MCM. So moi c'est mais elle pourrait. Oh hang. um 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 um, <coughs> I met this old school shorty at the studio at the Cravens at the studio. Scandal. Yeah. Scandal, yeah. Oh, yeah, scandal. Scandal, yeah. scandal yeah. pitoi, yeah. That would, yeah, that would make I would sense. That. Yeah, that, would make that would make sense. sense. Scandal, yeah. Yeah, yeah scandal, yeah. Ouais, she she, she un... raps, raps. Yeah. 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 That would make sense. I would see that too. So, uh, yeah. And you started dealing with Mike Shab as well. Yeah. His production. <laughs> I know you got some production of him. You're gonna be on his next project yeah, as well. Yeah, I heard the ink. Yeah, he's he's it's on it's he's on most of the, the production. Yeah, my next project. Yeah, Yo, you forming Mike Sham. Yeah, he's my favorite. Yeah, my eh? favorite right now. Him and Katola. I I do my best shit with him and Katola. All right, word. My best shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And do you record at like with them? Do you have a studio at home where you record? And I record send them? with them. I go yeah. when I record with Katola. I go by Katola. When I record with Mike Shy, we we uh we rent a studio out and go do our thing. Okay, okay. And for a couple of hours. Yeah, and, yeah. But you used to uh, wreck at the Makeway Studio, no? Yeah, I, I did it on my own to do like freestyles on a mob deep beat. Like I used to take oh, okay. YouTube beats and go do like freestyles and put it out randomly and mm -hmm. shit. If I just wanted like studio time for myself and whatever, do that and whatever, you know. Mm. And you think it's harder as a female for the guys to take you seriously? Yeah, I, I go through that sometimes. Sometimes yes and sometimes no. It depends on the dude. Sometimes they try, just try to some hit dudes, on you. They try to hold you. The fake studio session, yeah. So yeah. you're like, we're gonna wreck some. <laughs> if I book the studio session, they know it's work. But if someone's like, come in, uh, come to the session right now, I, I know, I know anything can happen. Like, yeah, you know? yeah. Dude, let's run. But I always, I always, <laughs> I always like dominate. I always like, yeah, make it play out how I want it to play out. Like, mm -hmm. even if somebody flirts, I'll just, I'll just like brush it off Aha, okay so yo um the second verse like yeah. i just change it i go back you into the music that quick. Like, you know? but is it hard to maintain a relationship when you're yeah. living right. that life yeah, yeah eh? well yeah yeah it is you see it because guys get jealous you get jealous you're gonna see you with only shab all night like yo, 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 you chab at, yo it's 2 a.m why are you with chabo man what are you doing like yeah. why are you, you with little yeah. shabo right now man <laughs> with little shabo that's our guy Yeah, but like, you know, and yeah, you know what we're talking about. That's how it is. No, but you know, like before I work with him, I let him know that too. I let Katola know what I go through 
Me and, like, Katola's my brother, guy. Mm. Yeah. Like, I never had no funny vibes with Katola ever. Mm. Like, there's certain people, like, like, Shab, like, like, there's certain people I, like, I, like, I never had to that, deal with that. that. Makes, I never had like, to deal with that. Like, they they strictly fuck with mm. my shit, fuck with my pen, and they want to work, you know? But on the other end, because you seem like you might be, you could be a little possessive, jealous, maybe. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. But like, if you because have a man, you know, supposedly the, that's a Scorpio trait. The Scorpio, mm. that, you're a Scorpio. Yeah. Exactly. See how I, yeah, I sense that supposedly, vibe. Supposedly, that's a shit. Yeah, we're territorial. We're territorial. Ter- ter- yeah. yeah. ter- yeah. ter- yeah. Après, elle arrive avec ce vibe, ce look. Yeah, who the fuck? Azalea. What are you doing? Who is this girl? Azalea Banks vibe. Yeah. Yo. A cliché, Azalea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys are funny. So on that, exactly. So, so the same way. You, you, you're like, yo, he's my brother. He could be your. Well, that's my sister. But you're not gonna accept that. You're gonna be like, yo. Sister, they like, what? Be home at this time. I'm waiting for your ass. You better be home at this time. Right. You're one of those, eh? Straight no, <laughs> I can't tell a man what to do. Okay. I used to be like that. Okay, okay. But I grew out of that. Mm. Like, I grew out of that. Mm. Mm. But did you have situations? I know that it's a, I know it's a turn off and stuff. But no, I like territorial. Me personally, I like a girl that's kind of territorial. Let like, me know I that I'm you. For your ego, over, for me, I like that. Wait for your I ego. I overdo it though. Yeah, not overdo it. But like, but some yeah. guys like that. Yeah. Mais like? est-ce que t'as t'as déjà date a guy that got jealous because of your career and yeah. all the surrounding and they were talking yeah. really? Yeah. yeah, for real. Like my ex that I recently broke up with. For real. I went to the to, to the Conway concert and he thought I fucked him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, for sure you did. You're backstage. I'm You're like, backstage. Yeah. So I of said what's up and I left. <laughs> I said what's up and I left. I have a I have an alibi. I left right after with Mike Shab and Nicholas and they, and they know. So <laughs> you have an alibi, so <laughs> yeah. yeah and I let, guys, and we went to the we went to the, the guys. Okay, so now we went, the fucking- we went to the studio right after. This guy's like, I mean, the sure best you way, you know, for a future man that's listening, your future husband or whoever who's probably yeah. listening, best way is make friends with her friends. You can't just be the guy on the side or those are your guys and just yeah, ice yeah. grill. No, just you gotta be, be cool. cool. No, nah, but I separate my man from my friends. Yeah? yeah. Why? Look at you, very territorial. Okay, you, you see can't. That? You can't. You can't do if, that. If though. you can't build that trust, I think it's you can't gonna be do more that. complicated. If I you didn't do that. trust him like that. That's why. Maybe. Okay. Maybe, maybe one day I will. Okay. But I didn't trust. Do him. you have trust issues in general? Yes. Okay, that's why. Yeah. You've been cheated on and. You know what heartbreak I've been feels by like. Family, friends. Oh, ah, okay. So okay. it's just in, in and general. Significant others, all everybody. Mm. No, I get it. I get it. I'm just cautious. I'm not that bad with it. I'm not that bad. Well, I'm no, you got cautious. you got to protect yourself, uh, obviously. Yeah. But can you say that the relation that you had, you know, didn't work because of that music career, or there were other issues? I think it was more the career because he was For trying. Real? He was trying to rap too. Oh, and okay. his shit, his, so, 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 his, so, his shit is not his Safari Nikki kind of vibe, right? Yeah. <laughs> so oh so my god, so <laughs> Safari so yeah. kind of vibe, right? Yeah, man, his shit wasn't really taken off, so I guess. It was, uh, <laughs> yo, shout out to him, man. You know, whoever he is, happens, man, shout out to him. It happens. Yeah, it happens. No, but c'est vrai. It's c'est quand même wack. Like you're rapping. My tout girls, so girls uh, he's popping more than me, man. Yeah, I got them bars, man. Shit, I. But you, I'm talking about that real life, though. I'm really trapping, trapping out here, you. and she's and you, you know? just making it because you're cute. Yeah. I got them bars. There'll be a lot of sarcasm and shit. There'll be yeah. a lot of uh, oh, I know you're about to leave. Uh, don't forget me. Don't forget <laughs> me when you leave. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, like, oh, for true. real, damn. Like, yeah, you're weird. Yeah. And that's why, because when you're with a partner. You want to feel that support. You want to feel that this person is behind you. To, and it has to feel genuine. It has yeah, to feel exactly. genuine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, as long as you feel I my belly. I know when shit is forced. And, yeah. yeah me, that jealousy and envy, that's not good. Yeah. Well, Guys are usually simple. A full stomach, empty balls. balls. That's it. Yeah, and then he didn't have a problem with that. Just, just certain people yeah. are just... <laughs> certain people are just ungrateful. Just ungrateful. Ungrateful that's for all un- yeah, these... Yeah. Because yeah. me, that's all I ask for, man. That's all I ask for, man. <laughs> you gonna go out? Okay. The food, the food is the there, over. And then you go and upstairs. Then, 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 then. I'm waiting for you in the room. <laughs> yeah, and you're a simple uh, yeah, man. I'm good. Yeah. You know what else could you ask for? As a man, like 
You know what I mean? And you have your career, you're doing your thing. Like, yeah. I think that's important. Mais en plus, je trouve que c'est plus difficile pour une femme dans ce field to make it happen. Parce qu'il y a beaucoup de female artists that has talent, mais c'est difficile pour eux. Mm -hmm. In general. So, si moi, j'ai ma copine, I have my girlfriend that's doing music, c'est sûr que je l'ai donné trois fois. Like 300% more support. Right. Because yeah. it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. But you connect It's hard with to, it to, to execute your work and it's hard to stay motivated too sometimes. You know, so. But you connect with uh, Kilia. Kirian. Killa? Killa, yeah. The singer. Yeah. On my song, Love yeah. Roller Coaster, yeah. So how did you. Kato uh, well, um, Katola met her at a shoot mm. that he was recording. And she was in one of my videos that mm. is no longer on YouTube, but I yeah. might re-upload it. Mm. But um, she was like... Is it, the, is it the video where there's like the stick-up kind yeah. of vibe? And yeah, you so guys, explicit. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah. Told, she told me about... <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, that stick-up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, she was playing the setup short. Yeah, She's yeah, a yeah. Setup that, that setup scene. <laughs> yeah. I sent her upstairs for mm, the cash, yeah, you know? You know <laughs> so basically, Katola hooked that up. She's like, I know how to sing. I do songs. Mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And I heard her shit. I was like, oh, I got a song for you to sing on. I That's wanted real. my girl to sing on it, but she passed away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, so, for real. Um, yeah, she was a super good singer. And By I wanted her man, to do That's the one that... Rebecca loves. It's her man No that, fucking way. Yeah. She, I wanted, I wanted to put her on so bad. She was singing. Yeah, she knows how to sing very I good. I didn't know that. Yeah, she, she knew how to sing very good. Yeah, so... I wanted her on there, but like, yeah, Killa, she did her thing. She did her thing. She was good. Nice. Like, I know you don't want to touch on it too much. Mm. I don't want you to break down or anything on that. But I think it's important for, you know, for especially women that are in abusive, abusive relationships, you know, like, you know, try to get out by any means before yeah. it's too late. Because when it's too late, like, it's too late, you know, and I think it's important to let the people know, yeah. you know. And, and and you know men get love, abused too but like, but like Eve said love is blind right? love is yeah, blind, love is blind. So take over like, your yeah. mind take over your mind so it's like you yeah. think that's all you know and he loves you because he's showing you this aggression but it's like nah yeah that's that true yeah and you know for guys too and if you see you start getting violent and over and over again, even for you, you should be like, maybe I need to get out of this. Yeah, you need maybe therapy it's not too. Good, it's not good for you as well. Yeah. So you need to get out of it. And maybe guys who are in relationships, what's going to happen? A lot of them seen their mom go through that too. So yeah. They think it's normal. Yeah, that's you it know. too. So it, no, it's not. It's, like it's a not right. Thing, a generational thing. And you know, and no, no abuse is is right and you know girls shouldn't hit their man oh, either so yeah. see we you need know, to talk about girls that hit their men too yeah. <laughs> what? and that's the thing you know let's pause on that what what should a man do if his girl hits him leave just leave just get out of the house that that's my house it's your house but still leave because when she, when a bitch say like leave. that, if she's gonna hit you, she's gonna keep doing it until you react, and then and then she's gonna you're add, gonna be in the wrong. Yeah, because she's gonna be the woman. Yeah. This, yeah, even though she's provoking you and hitting you and going crazy. Si if you strike change, back, you're automatically gonna be in the wrong. You need so that. Say. You need to film it. You need to film it now. Yeah. Everyone puts out their phone. Johnny Depp vibe. Yeah, yeah. she's coming Johnny at Depp, you. Get your phone ready. Whoop, she's coming at me. Look, she's hitting me. Yeah, she's trying to hit me. Because Johnny Depp a gagné. He la filmé. He recorded her. Yeah, audio recorded. Yeah, he yeah. fallait qu'il gagne comme ça. Sinon, il allait jamais gagner contre Amber. Yeah, yeah. I think it's important. You know, relationships are not easy, man. And yeah, relationship songs are always good. Th those, these things always work. I like yeah. relationship songs. Yeah. When you when you you spill your heart out on relationships, breakups. Yeah, love roller coasters is a nice song though. It's yeah. a it's a it's a it's a love song. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's not a toxic song. Right. When I'm trying to write about a significant other, I I always try to keep it positive. Yeah. Right. Okay. You know? I'm not really the toxic toxic love writer. Okay. If that's okay. the case. I just speak my gangster shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. What was the the show at at Us Gang? Um, with Mike Shab, you frequency or something like that. Yeah, it was a nice show. It was packed. My show was packed. Yeah, um, my show was packed too. But I opened for. Uh, 
Iman? Yes. Iman, okay. Iman. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> yeah. For Iman, I always uh, yeah. say Iman. So, but, but the crowd was still like a good crowd for me and whatever. Yeah. The crowd reaction was good too. They were, they were engaged and everything, you know. But. But was the but? Huh? But what? I don't like the time sets that these people be putting me at. Oh, the time slots. Yeah, okay. The time slots. What do you yeah, mean? yeah. I don't like going too early when shit's opening. Oh, yeah. Even you though, even though I'm getting paid and whatever. It's yeah. like they're trying I to kill some times and you're okay, you're yeah. performing I, I that feel, time. I feel a little disrespected. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know about that about that. And then I look at these people's performances after me and I'm like, this nigga's <laughs> trash. Or this person's <laughs> trash. Like anyway. J'aime bien l'énergie, non? J'aime l'énergie. Man. But one thing that I saw is, you know, you sound on stage exactly like in the studio. I was listening to that shit. I was like, yo, is it playback or? No. I was and trying I to see. And then a lot of people so rap over their lyrics. Yes, I hate when yeah. they do that. Mine I is just straight instrumentals. Yeah. I thought you were singing over your lyrics because it was no. like the same shit. I was like, yo, uh -huh. is it? And I Props. don't rehearse either. You don't? No. Shit. That's a strong show. So if I rehearse, guy, if I got dancers involved and, and went crazy, I might do that one day. Yeah, I think. But that the thing would be is, that. I have to, I have to um, heighten up my budget because yeah. I got to pay everybody. Exactly. So it's business, right? You gotta That's get that thing. grant. You gotta get, gotta get that grant money. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Tu préfères faire avec cartel? Ouais, mm. parce que Naya Ali est avec Cartel. You, you, you know Naya Ali? From New York? No, she's uh, from Montreal. She's actually from DG. Oh, that girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah Naya yeah. Ali, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She signed with uh, Cartel. She had that grant money. I think she uh, just signed a from, deal. From DG. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she signed a deal with the uh, UK uh, booking uh, agency. Yeah, like, she got a vibe. She yeah, she, she has got a, a vibe. She got a radio vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's radio worthy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's more radio friendly. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. It's not as hard. Yeah. It's, I heard her. I heard her shit before. Yeah. But I think, yeah, I think someone like that could. You, you, she was you a runner up, up after me last year when I was oh, yeah? a female rapper. Before. Yeah. She's good. She yeah. definitely got talent. I like what she does. Um, yeah, I forgot about her. It's true. Naya Ali. So, you know what? I think there's, there's, there's room for female artists here. And I think. You know, you're, you're speaking for a whole generation of them. I think it's good what you're doing. Yeah. Your sound is different, definitely. It's that old school drum flavor. Less, drum less beats. It still has that old school flavor to it. Yeah. yeah. But, you I'm know, trying to switch up the vibe soon. For yeah. real? Yeah. Why? Yeah, well, you can't keep it that way the whole time. I don't know. I feel like I'm very good on faster tempos, higher BPMs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm trying to like, you know... I don't want to stay the same all the exactly. time. Exactly. No, I agree I'm with you. I'm an artist, artist. I like to write to all I type of vibes. I agree with you. Mm. I listen to all type of hip hop, all type of music. And genres. I don't think the money is with the drumless beat. I think... Ça dépend. It's a Mais qui niche. vraiment, à part... Tu vois, tout le monde va toujours nommer Griselda, Griselda. Mm. Qui d'autre que tu vas nommer à part Griselda? Il y a Robert Il y a Mac Army, il y a God Fahim. Il y a Old Druk. Il y a aucun oui, mais ils ont pas des... blow up à ce point-là. Ils, ils ont blow up à ce point-là. Ils ont des bank accounts. Ils sont des millionnaires, ces gars-là. Ils ont des Je sais pas. Parce qu'il a dit, oh, they didn't blow up all these guys. Ah, ah, Est-ce qu'ils like, sont tous des millionnaires? They're all millionaires. They have money with this. 38 special. Yeah, il est fort. I like him. Yeah, mais c'est une niche. Non, mais c'est vrai, c'est des gars qui... Non, mais c'est pas comme avant. Non, toi, tu veux dire, c'est comme si ils des millionnaires parce que t'as pas vu qu'ils ont le little baby numbers. But they're doing shows all year. Yeah. C'est ça l'important. Me, you if you're guys, all those year, guys are mainstream. Me, I like listening to these things. But me, I'm with the I'm with the kids. When I'm with the kids, they're talking to me about NBA, Young Boy, Little Dirk, and no, and none of these kids talking to me about these guys. Wait, man, remember NBA, Young Boy? It's not But for you the know kids. what's crazy though? Even though I'm <laughs> saying yeah, like, even though I'm on the drumless shit, and I'm saying yeah. I want to do different shit. It's tricky because you don't want to confuse your audience. Exactly. That's true too. A lot of because people they're going like, to be like, oh, what is she doing? She's trying to catch yeah, one. She's exactly. trying to catch a single. She's trying to catch a yeah, hit now. That's true. Like she's not staying true to herself. She's switching up. 
like you know shit like that yeah, so yeah. you have to be careful with how you transition to mm. like the sound you transition to like you know that's a good point yeah because you're gonna like you're gonna look like a sellout yeah yeah that's a good point it's gonna look too forced like oh, okay she's trying to yeah she's trying to be me a cardi b or some shit yeah, yeah. like i don't know who the fuck but do, you, do you have like a, a club a club song in the vault um on a drill beat drill yeah yeah that gangster shit If you ever need any male models, you know we're here, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Alex for the video, man, yeah. for the video. You know yeah, I mean? there's Alex here. You know, for the <laughs> Y'all yeah. can dance too? You can dance? Yeah, yeah, I can get it on. You know what I mean? I, you know. Oh, shit. I can do oh, my shit. one, two steps. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Forget about that, man. <laughs> that KK dance, man. Yeah. yeah. Do my little one, two step. This guy's yeah. like, yo. <laughs> that was crazy. The world comes like over there. You know, I'm, oh, a, I'm losing the belly a little bit here, so you know, <laughs> the I'll be able to go topless. You know, not for real. Do my little. Um, uh, Alex shot my video for my first single on the EP. Out. Alex Dilem. Alex Dilem. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot two more, two more videos on the on the from the EP. So I hit y'all up if you really want to be in it. Yeah. One me. of them. One of them is like a very hype song. I'm gonna play some shit for you after this. Yeah, yeah. After this, yeah. I play a one-two song for y'all. Yeah. yeah Mais dépendant. Do you have a manager or no. a management no. team? No. Yeah. Just me. And are you gonna, uh, you know, show your heritage in the music, like some Jamaican vibes, reggae vibes? I did it with Chang Shui. Yeah. Yeah. Tum, tum, yeah. Yeah. Tum, tum, tum. yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Sometimes I be spitting in patois and people be like, you should do reggae music. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. but it's more Afrobeats right now. Well, yeah, it? it's more Afrobeats. But you can... look at her, I'm like, what? You know that Afro... Where, they, where you think it came from? Where you think that sound came from? It's dancehall vibes. Yeah, it's true. It's the true. drums and Yeah, the drums. Yeah. yeah. It's dancehall vibes. Yeah, I'm going gonna, gonna to stick to my roots. You're crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. funny. Like, Speaking of your roots, are you more... Oxtail or jerk chicken? Jerk chicken. What? Oh, yeah? I love both. I love both. Oxtails is for Sunday. Jerk chicken, you can have that a couple I times mean, the, the week. And you know how to make the own the, the spice? Or you buy it like the rest of us. We go to Super both. C and both. the Immigrant Isle. And you... Both. Both. Okay. Oh, you know how to make it as well? Yeah. Some, like, like homemade? I got, that, I got some of them in the cupboard. I got okay. some. But I also can make, be like... My grandma she taught me how to make my own jerk seasoning. Yeah, mm. I'm so stuffy. Trade up. Not toujours dit le chicken, Jamaican chicken is better than Asian chicken. But the rice, the Asian rice is better, is better than, than Jamaican all rice. the Western rice. I need to try it out. The the Asian rice, rice is and the peas? best. Yeah, rice and beans. Yeah, it's the you best. You use like rice. basmati rice. Your rice looks like the long grain rice. It's not like. It's like uh, a different. Well, it's, a sticky, think it's, it's a sticky rice. Yeah, but it's not the basmati the they use. Mm. The basmati came later on. Now it's it's been it's popular, but uh, because I had your 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 chef, you you could hold it down in the kitchen. Yeah, that's yeah. the word. Yes. Come out of the Yeah, like I'm gonna start um um delivering soon. Oh yeah. Yeah. Stop. Yo. I'm gonna Yo. create a menu. I'm gonna create okay. a menu. Once I put the menu out, then we could do a little. Yeah, we could do a little show. Uh, and like cooking cater and to yeah. it. Yeah, for sure. Catering. I would love scene. to do that. It'll be good, man. I think it'll be Dalel. a good look, and we can get an appetite. Yeah, I would love to do that. Yeah, eh? For sure. So you make uh, and uh, so you know how to make oxtail as well. Yeah. That's long. It's a long process, I think. Yeah, and you have to like season it. Yeah. Usually. I season and my mother taught me like you season it and marinate it from the night before. Yeah, exactly. And then you And you have a pressure, pressure cooker? Cook it, yeah. yeah. Or you could do it in a Dutch pot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so all of those. So you know, yeah. Because mm. g- getting a man is one thing, keeping a man is another <laughs> thing. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, somebody else. Oh my god. <laughs> so your plantains are stuff. <laughs> <laughs> your plantains are sweet. You like sweet plantains, not the salty ones. Yes, I like sweet plantains. The sweet plantains. Not It's, overripe, not, you know. Yeah, yeah. Not too overripe. But yeah. well, what's your specialty? Like, you make a, a mac macaroni pie? Oh, yeah. My mac and cheese, my salmons, mm. mashed potatoes. Mm. Okay. Um, my shepherd's pie is good. Oh, uh, yeah? My lasagna is good. Shepherd's pie. And this is this is Canadian. Yeah. Mm. The pâté My chinois. jerk chicken is good too. I have my ackee and saltfish is good. Yeah. And you know how to. And it's when that's you gonna buy be, That's going to be my vegan part of the dish. Oh, like oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, vegan, did they eat fish? They don't eat fish. I, a vegetarian, whatever. 
Yeah. Pescatarian. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Some okay. Just, <laughs> just, just eat seafood. Yeah, yeah. The ones that just eat seafood. Yeah. Yeah. But you watch what you eat. That, uh, from what I understood, yeah, you don't. Not really. You'll eat McDonald's I, and. On a drunk night. <laughs> on yeah. a drunk night, and I'm not trying to cook. AM, on a open. drunk night, and I'm not trying to cook. I'm gonna order some shit from outside. Uber eats it, but. But you realize shit is happening here. Like, after midnight, once I was looking, and I went to the McDonald's, and they were closed. And it's a 24-hour McDonald's because there's, there's pe- people don't want to work anymore. Mm. Like, there's a shortage of people working. So you could be stuck in Montreal, especially on the west side. Yo. You could be stuck in, you know, maybe yeah, even the Tim Hortons might be closed. Yeah, I didn't get for like closed. two hours one Yo. night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Même Uber, tu vas order ton stuff, puis t'as payé, là. Puis yeah. la femme va jamais venir. It's <laughs> crazy what's happening now. Like, <laughs> like, there's really something happening. And they're not really talking about it in the news. But Nobody when you go there, there like, you see, like... Yo, my gas was empty late night, and I and I was like, okay, I know there's a gas station here, 24 hours. I'm gonna make it. I'm looking. Okay, for real, I had like three kilometers left on the dashboard. You went. I get there, and the lights are on. I'm ringing. I'm like, what's going on? What the fuck? I'm like, oh my god! Like I was panicking. Yeah, everybody. Everybody's like starting their own business or selling ass or some shit. I don't know what they're doing. Like, Like, is everyone making money on the OnlyFans money? (laughs) Yeah, shout out to Black China, man. (laughs) Only fans, yeah. man. That shit works, eh? Bienvenue à notre deuxième chaîne YouTube, Rapolitique TV. TV, pour tout le contenu inédit, juste pour vous. Contenu exclusif et les highlights. Les behind the scenes avec vos artistes favoris. On travaille sur une émission qui s'appelle Dans l'aile. Si vous aimez la musique et la bouffe, ne ratez pas cette émission-là. On va se permettre d'expérimenter, pas toutes vous s'assurer sur une chaîne, on préfère le séparer en deux, fait assurez-vous si vous êtes des vrais rapoliticiens et rapoliticiennes de vous abonner sur cette chaîne dès aujourd'hui. Ne ratez pas la nouvelle vague Rapolitik TV. So yeah, so Yeah, but I'm trying to I'm trying to open up a restaurant eventually though. Oh, word. Yes. It's not easy, it's not an easy business, eh? It's not, but I'm for sure trying to make sure I'm definitely financially stable yeah, to do that. Yeah. I'm not going to I'm not going to take a risk with it. Yeah, you know? yeah. If I got money to do that, I'm going to do that for sure. Try to open up a franchise and shit. That would be amazing. A West Indian or just joint like a fusion of a West fusion. Indian and, and West Indian and American. Yeah, yeah. Open one here and in America. There's one in the West Island on Gwen uh, I seen someone do a fusion of Jamaican yeah, fusion. and Chinese. For real? Oh yeah. Where? Yeah. In a, in New York. Okay, For yeah, real? in New York <laughs> or somewhere in the east. But there's a lot okay. of fusions of West Indian. I think there's a Jamaican Haitian one. Lequel? On Gwen et Pierrefond là, sur um, Gwen même. Pickles? No, not Pickles. No, je sais pas comment ça s'appelle. Pickles. Je sais pas comment ça s'appelle. Pickles is in a uh, uh, is um. On it's a Haitian restaurant, though. Okay. Yes, but there's a fusion uh, one, a uh, Jamaican uh, <coughs> Haitian one in the West Island. The West Island? Yeah. It's not Season Dreams. Oh, no. no that's, but yeah, Season mean. Dreams will see down the West Island. You know yeah, about the West Jay, Island. Being was, from the West. That was owned by Jay Anthony. Jay, Jay, but, Jay, he, Jay. but he sold it. Yeah. He sold that company and now he has Tropical. Tropical. Man. Yeah, you being from the West. Do you know the West Island? Yeah. West Island? Yeah. Like Dollar Dollar Desamo? Yeah, Zamo? exactly. No. You don't. <laughs> yeah, I know the area. I know, I, know, I, know the area. I, don't. I know the area because yeah. I used to live out there for a little bit. Oh, where? Yeah. yeah, but like I, I don't know mad the people, people the out people. there. Okay. Like I just know the oh, area. Oh, so you lived in DD or like Bucktown, like Spring Garden? Yeah, area, around Bordeaux Sunny Lac Brook. too. Bordeaux uh, Bordeaux. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice area by the by water. The water. Yeah. It's nice. Well, romantic okay. scenes. The romantic scenes for your video. When you're broken, you don't want to go out, be like, let's go by the water. Yes, I'm Mars, you know, so to the east. Kick bars. <laughs> so that east. By the water. Yes, I'm I, I, <laughs> yeah, I did yeah. that and it works. You should just go smoke by there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Drink a little Heineken yeah, and chill out. Yeah, yeah, You know? But where, like, if a guy takes you on a date for the first time, you you don't expect him to take you by the water. You expect him to, like, yeah, like wine and big, dine? Big restaurant. At my big age, yes. Yeah. Like, it's a but wine like, if dine. you But, like, I'm not shallow like that, too. But, like, I've done that so many times. Right, right. That, like, if he does that, I probably won't hit him back up. I'm, I'd probably be like, okay. Oh, okay, be original is what you're saying. Yeah. Like, be- I could take myself like I could take myself to the water and just chill. Like, yeah. You know, as a man, like, 
I had my father in my life all my life, you know, and he's a man, man, like you know, yeah. man, man. Yes, so like he's a man, man. He takes care of, the, takes care of the home. He holds shit down with his woman, oh, for shit real? like that, you know. So like that's what I seen growing up. <laughs> so yeah. I expect that. So when people come on some little shit, like I'm like, okay, you just trying to fuck. You're not like you, you don't see any type of. You're not trying yeah. to, you know. Build, so yeah. if if you're not trying to build, then I treat you like that, you know, oh. as well. But should the man be the one to cover all the bills in the household is no because i wasn't raised like that either. okay my mother held shit down too yeah okay like she so it's like when my dad was low she got it yeah. and then yeah. she still holds certain shit yeah down. right right partnership right. yeah I yeah guess. it's a partnership that's yeah. what it is right yeah but you but you do you like but ultimately a, he's like you know but do you like a romantic guy um yeah but not Are you corny uh, yeah but i love a role i am I'm submissive and I'm romantic. Submissive. Oh. What's the, okay, so what's the definition of submissive for you? Because you don't seem like that at all. Like I, <laughs> I like I like I'll let my man be the man. Yeah. Mm. But at the same time, like I do have a a, a alpha female vibe yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. So like I, I try to level it out. But that's, at the same time, this is something good. I'm learning at my that's good. recently. That's I, was, good. I was never Be, like right, that all the time right, though. Right. Right. I was never like that all the time. Because you, when people see like submissive, they see like as a weakness. Yeah. No. no. And it's not a weakness. Yeah. Not a weakness. No, it's, it's not to the point thing. where like I'm gonna get like I, I like I feel like you know I'm gonna let the person walk all over me, mm -hmm. right. talk to me crazy, right, and disrespect right. me. Like right. there's a mutual respect, but right. like everybody knows their role mm -hmm. as you know. No, but like you, you, you sub, no, but you submit to the right person as well. Exactly, right. to the right leadership. Yeah, when I get exactly. disrespectful, it's because I know you're not a leader and you're a bitch. Right. And, then, and I, this is when I just start talking to you crazy. Yeah, yeah and that's yeah. when I realize, okay, you can't be just talking to people crazy. Just leave. Yeah, you know, that that was that was my last relationship. It was getting toxic. For yeah, real. because of that, he had to grab his dick. I'm the man, and I'm like, I don't know, man, because I'm paying for like, <laughs> like you know. F feels like I'm the one with the dick, Mike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Yo, it's disgusting. I don't like it. Wow. And all all the men you dated. My homegirl, Seth, would be like, "Just like, yo, girl, I know how you are. I see your daddy. You need a daddy. You need somebody like your daddy. You yeah. need like Shout out to Sessa, man. <laughs> yeah, she like. Shout out to you Sessa, can't deal man. with no little bitch, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, the match magna with Sessa, man. I fed the picture with Sessa. If Sessa were were here. Yeah, that's my baby. I love yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to link up with her tomorrow. Yeah, shout out to her, man. I wanted her to be here, but it's all good. Do you have a tracks with her? No, not yet. I wanted her on the song. She was supposed to be on next to pop really? instead of Boy Blue. Oh. No way. What happened? She, she, I don't know. She didn't, she couldn't come up with something. Yo, she's nice. Yeah, but I don't know if she didn't like it or something, or maybe she, like, oh, like it was too, like, I don't know what it was. Yeah. But Boy Blue was my second choice. Sissa is nice, man. She's yeah. dope. I want it to be a girl song. Like, yeah. yeah. But and she's always, in, she's always in new videos, also. Yeah. Yeah. She supports me. She comes to my shows and shit. Bring Sisterhood. Sisterhood, yes. really? I think that's important, yeah. Hmm. That's what's up. So most of the guys you dated were were black. Were they were all black? No, I dated a Persian. Oh, word. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> she doesn't seem like a she seems like she Yeah. Now that's when you went towards <laughs> Islam? Is that the time? No, he wasn't the one. Okay. No. My okay. friend like Okay. So I had a friend when I was 13 that was part of it and I have a chain that I no longer have now. Mm. I lost it. So sad about it. But it's a Allah chain. It's like a protection chain. Mm -hmm. I got it from her, basically. And like, basically, I had it though my whole life. And somebody I met that came out of jail see my chain, and they're like, "You know what that says?" I'm like, "It says Allah." And he's like, "Do you know Allah?" And I, at the time, I didn't really know. And he kind of like was my ment like mentor or whatever. It was like showing me how to pray and everything and. Gave me my first Quran and mm. stuff. So like, you know, did my Ramadans and stuff. Like, I was I was good. But oh, like, you've done Ramadan. Yeah, you know, and my uncle, um, God rest his soul, that passed away. He was um, a Muslim, but he was in Queens, New York. He lived in Queens, okay. New York. But he's Jamaican. He's my right. my dad's brother. You right. Know? 
and he was trying to convert me f- since I was like repping Christianity. Mm. And I just be like, I used to ignore him. But when I grasped onto it is when he passed away and it's messed up because he's been to Mecca. Like he's, he knows the whole nine, like he's at a high level of it. Yeah, so I could have yeah. learned a lot from him, but he was mad. He's older than my dad. So, For real? so unfortunately, you know, yeah. But I would like to tap back into my, my, uh, my Dean. But yeah. I like your spiritual side. I think that's important yeah. to have so, as an artist, as a person, just as a human being. Time. I think it's important. I think that's great. But do you pray? Yes. A lot? I do pray a lot. Every night? Every night. I pray when I wake up. I pray just when I get the spirit. For real? Like, with, yeah. Like throughout the day. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Little affirmations too here and there. And you've been to Jamaica? I haven't been to Jamaica since I was two. Since okay. Yeah, For real? yeah, I haven't been back since then. So if I go back, it's going to be a different vibe. I'm going to be partying. You still have family been, out there, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, a lot of family from both sides, my mother and father side. Yeah. But I when I go there, I'm staying on a resort. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is that? I'll go v- because the hood's crazy. Kingston. Kingston is Yo, real. you don't even have to worry about the robbers and the, and yeah. the strangers. You have to worry about your family too. Straight because, up. Because, yo, my, my homegirl went out there, right? Okay, like uh, in her <laughs> teens, like 18, 19. Mm. Went out there with mad shoes, jewelry, everything. Her cousin's like, so, beg you this, beg you that. You can't give me this, give me this, give me that. Yo, this girl came back with two shoes. She went with 18 pairs of shoes. <laughs> came back with two shoes. Because, wow. like, they make you feel like they're poor things and yeah, you gotta, yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. But they have it good out there. The bums out there got iPhones and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. like they're mad Americanized, but yeah. but they try to trick you when you come out there. Yeah, like they're course. poor, but they're doing good. They're like thirty minutes away from Miami, Jamaica, yes. like a boat ride from Miami. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> it's funny, but yeah, I have to go back there. Yeah, I recommend it. So, what's the plan in the U.S. market? Like, what's the? I don't know. I'm just I'm just building as I go. And if an opportunity or something that makes sense comes along, I'll be grateful for it and I'll, you know, ponder on it. And if I, if I, you know, if I fuck with it, then I'm a, you know, I don't think about, I don't think I want to sign to anybody right now. But you see, like, like, there is a demand of Chong in the States. Like, there's fans, promoters or people, producers. UK, UK and the US. For real? Yeah. UK is it. I believe in that as well. And I think we have good relations in Canada with the UK. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's good. Uh, yeah. You can make it pop out there. I did a few features with people out there. Oh, yeah. In the yeah. States? Yeah, but it, uh, in UK too. In UK too. So like, um, this hasn't been released yet, but it's recent. Like, so do that, you see yeah. yourself t- like blowing up like in the la- in the next five years, three years, two years? If like, I do you want to do that all your life? If I stay consistent, yes. Yeah. I want to make music for sure. I feel like I'm still, I'm like while I'm young, mm. while I'm at the at the age I'm at, I could just accomplish what what I want yeah. to in the next couple of years, and then I could evolve into producing mm. because I want to like I told Shabnam, you got to show me how to make beats too because I have a good ear as well. I like oh, yeah. I like making beats, but I need to know how to do it right, you know, and uh, editing videos. Yeah. Uh, I'm good with the camera too. I want to ghost write for people. Like, there's a lot oh, of yeah. things I want to do. So, okay, you really you're in this seriously. You want to you're in it to win it. You want to learn all the tricks all the, of the uh, trade. Yeah. It's not only a hobby. of all the industry, yeah. every part of the industry. Yeah, really. nice. I just just want to be a rat, like a you know, yeah, like, for sure. Now, I think that's good, man. Yeah, maybe own a label one day. Maybe it would be great. Maybe, inshallah. Inshallah. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You know how to braid hair? Yeah. Why? <laughs> because uh, <laughs> you want to braid my hair on Tuesday? Yeah. yeah so you uh, have to. Uh, it's so crazy. <laughs> yes, I know how to braid hair. You got dreads though. Yeah, I have dreads yeah. though. Well, you got you got a child that needs their head your hair braided? No, no. Oh, uh, well, like yeah, that too. No, but when my dreads are freshly done, then I could braid it. I could, you know, once it's done, then you could braid the locks. 
like corn roll it corn back, rolls like and, two corn rolls. Yes, back exactly. <laughs> that I'm sure you'd be able to do. I want to. I want to turn my shit into locks too. For real? Oh, yeah. yeah. That would my be dope. brother, my brother, me and him have the same hair texture, and like before he went dread, it never grew past his shoulder. Mm. Since he went dread, his hair is down to his ankles right For now. For real. Yeah, shit something about when you dread it, it grows. Because you don't put all that shit in your hair. Yeah. yeah. You don't put heat, a whole bunch of shit. Like, yeah. It's just like natural. Natural, you know? some oil. and Shit's all the way down here. Yeah. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. You know how to swim? No. Mm. <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> From the island, you don't know how to swim. That's a true, like a true island girl. <laughs> yeah, island girl, eh? island girl. You're just an island girl. <laughs> I mean, it's mixed. I don't know. It's great. My mom what? don't know how to swim either, but my grandma does. She's like, she swims like a fish. My grandma. Okay. Oh, yeah. I used to go on her back in the pool and shit, and she's oh, swimming. Yeah, right? and she's going to back, you know, on her back and shit. So like, it's fifty-fifty, <laughs> you know? Because when I ask people, I think a lot of them do know how to swim. Would you say most? Black people that I've asked know how to swim. Ici dans le podcast? Yeah. Ouais, actually, c'était, ça m'a surpris. Comme il y en a quand même qui savent comment. I think comment, most it's a black tie. people have been here. Well, yeah, c'est unless, yeah. the, unless the capping. Yeah. You know, yeah, I mais think most quand même, of them, c'était quand même 50-50. Il y en a qui savent, il y en a qui savent. Yeah. And I don't know how to swim. I'm scared. I, I'm terrified, scared. terrified of water. Oh, uh, yeah, eh? I'm terrified of water. And you don't want to wet your hair as well? I don't care about that. Oh, okay. It's okay. like, comme c'est le profond, like, c'est les profondeurs de l'eau. Yo, I be in there. And I be trying to float, and I I'm sinking. I don't know if I'm kicking my legs too quick or what, <laughs> or if I need to like I don't know what I need to do to stay afloat. Yeah, but I be sinking. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, like I can't float for some reason. No. But it's you'll crazy. go in the pool, but you just stay in. The, I probably need a floaties. You won't go in the deep end. You'll just stay in the. I need a floaty. Yeah. <laughs> But if I go in there, that's how I need to begin. But I need you, to begin with the floaties. Yeah, yeah. But you need like if you took yeah. like, imagine a thirty a thirty some year old girl in the <laughs> shit with a floaty and shit. Nah, I, I I just put my feet in the water. That's all. Mais avec, okay. Imagine yeah. me swimming. Or be on a boat in the water. Avec deux classes comme the swimming pool. Like if you have like two three class of swimming, you're gonna be able to 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 know how to float. I think mm-hmm. if you really want three, three classes, classes, you're gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> Three class you are. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna be a good. All right. You're not gonna be an expert, but you're gonna be able to float. Probably. You well, probably me is because I had a girl that I didn't know how to swim for a long time. I learned to swim as an adult. I learned mm-hmm. how to swim because I had my ex that was a big swimmer. Mm-hmm. And every time we'd go somewhere, you know, on the island or somewhere, go on vacation, Sounds she'd always be in the water. So I'd be like, shit, I need to step up my game. Right. So then with time, I used to just go swimming with her and she used to, you know, show me a little bit. Okay, and, yeah, little by little. Because, you know, and I think, you know, that's love too. When you love someone, you're going to accompany <laughs> that's them. Love too. And you want to follow them, right? You want so to. You're going to show them how to not if drown. If you find a man that's a, <laughs> not, that's a swimmer. Not die. <laughs> if you find a man that's a swimmer, he really wants to show you, you know, he'll, sure. he'll show you, you know For what I mean? Sure. So I think... You know, where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> oh, you bars. Know. Bars. If, if there's like, a will, there's a it's way. It's good to know how to swim in case of emergency, but yeah, I'm not yeah, pressed to I'm not pressed to learn. But I should I should one day. So you know I got bars, so if you ever need a sixteen on one of your beats, bar, you know no, me. Bar, bar, you hold that Serrano the Montreal, you know. I'm we, not I'm not freestyling, y'all. We we got English bars too, you know. You wanna freestyle? No, no, no. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. You want to freestyle is what you no, say? No, I'm just talking shit right now. I'm oh, okay, okay. Man. I was going to play my shit for y'all. I was going to play it on Patreon. Yeah, yeah, Patreon, yeah we're going to do, do that. Patreon gonna after. Do that. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. You could do what you want on Patreon. It's just for the privileged members. Shout out to tout le monde qui a suivi uh, l'émission aujourd'hui. Mm-hmm. Uh, je sais que c'était pas mal en anglais. Mm-hmm. Uh, mais j'en profite pour vous dire que on aimerait commencer à interviewer plus d'artistes anglophones. Et puis, est-ce qu'on devrait le faire ici ou est-ce qu'on devrait faire une autre émission juste pour les artistes anglophones? Laissez vos commentaires. So what I just said is, I want to start interviewing more and more English artists. I feel like they're shy to come on the show because they see a lot of the, the content is in French. So maybe we should just add another show in English just for the English artists instead of doing a rap politique where yeah. it's more French based. Yeah, you, you know, because we can flip it as we see, you know, we're from the West. We're bilingual. Moi, personnellement, je pense que c'est comme rap politique, c'est rap, man. It's rap, right? It's rap at the end of the day, man. Que so, ce soit français, anglais, it's rap. Que ce soit en créole que tu viens, 
It's rap. Ouais, parce qu'il y a des rappeurs créoles qui sont venus, puis ça, it's, ouais, it's, c'est ça vrai. marchait, là, comme ouais. Canis, elle a eu comme 16 000 views. Ouais, ouais, c'est vrai. So it's And rap. And ultimately, it's English, but you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, tu sais, moi, j'ai dit, c'est rap, rap. We don't rap. play that discrimination game. Yeah. We like, don't play that politics. Yeah. Comme, good music is good music. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Faites du reggaeton, vous êtes bienvenus aussi. Yes. Comme, If, yeah. As long as you make That's good how it music, be. That's how you it have a following, be. people fuck with your shit, people ask for you, This you're welcome. This is a welcome. music media. Exactly. You know? Mais il mais, y a HHQC qui pose euh, tes musiques. Est-ce que toi, tu sens le love of French, Canadian media, media when they post your stuff? Like, do you have like some feedbacks or some fans? Yeah, that HHQC they know? and those people... Um, they they post my my stuff. It's like like French uh, media yeah, yeah. and blogs. Yeah, it's a French market. Yeah. Yeah, I get a lot of good feedback from them. A lot of people would, I'm sure, they would like me f- to spit in French a little bit. But nah, it's not gonna happen. Maybe a bar. I'm not, not a against whole song. it. I'm not against it, but like you know, I would have a Google translate it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm real English, yo. Yeah. Yeah. And not ashamed. I love you. I love you. Straight up. I want to learn Japanese and Spanish. Japanese and Spanish. Because I feel like mo- around the world, around the world, yeah. Spanish is yeah, all Spanish. very spoken. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's spoken a lot. Yeah. The Asian language too. Yeah. We're not French. I will learn fr- French. is easier for me to learn because I know the basics already. Yeah. yeah, you do. I just need to tighten up on my grammar. Yeah. And you, that's it. You want to spit some French right now? Go no, ahead. c'est pas ça. C'est il faut que tu aies le courage. T'es timide. Oui, c'est là, c'est là mais il euh, faut que je fasse des pratiques, plus de pratiques. Oui. That was nice. That t'as was un bon good. accent. You have a good accent. C'est ça. T'as un accent français. <laughs> Meilleur que c'est ça. <laughs> c'est <joking. laughs> <He's> so crazy. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Fait que je shout out euh, les ministres qui nous suivent sur Patreon. Vous connaissez déjà les times. Yeah, shout man. out à vous, man. Sans vous, il n'y a pas de nous. On l'a fait pour Montréal, La Salle, Texas, what up? On l'a fait vraiment pour le côté anglais aujourd'hui. Mais vous savez, les élections arrivent. Nous autres, on est pour le bilinguisme. Le bilinguisme. <rire> Bilingualisme. Je pense que je l'ai bien dit, right? On, est notre, on, on représente le côté bilingue mm-hmm. de Montréal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Donc, shout-out à Dualité, Librairie Racine Montréal, Montreal Urban Music sur Instagram, Centre Sud 125 D-Town, Big Shout-out to Mystique et Victo, In Vivo, Vivo Photo Boot, Jonathan Breton, ConceptionLogo.com, J Magistrat Saints, Dope Moore, Steph Master, Stevens Eli, Freezer, Raccoon, SansFocusFitness.com, Entraînement Physique en ligne, Moudilia, Danny Blain, Carla Pierre, Marca Teresa, Cowens, JDMD, EmpireDurag.com, l'atelier du haut de chef, Mike Zop, Simon Bourque, DJ Flash, Nibi704, officiel, ZLAX et Jonel Graphiste. Gros shout-out à tous les ministres qui nous suivent de proche. On est ensemble. Allez checker les émissions qu'on fait juste sur Patreon. C'est juste pour vous. Juste pour les gens de Patreon, on a des émissions juste sur notre plateforme patreon.com slash rapolitique. On est toujours là avec Chung in the building, Chung, la, Chung. la très jolie mademoiselle. Thank you. Talented, I got, I got talentueuse. One, I, got one more, I got one more little shout out. Yeah, for sure. Vas-y, shout out. Because you mentioned Raccoon. There's a show on October 1st and I'm performing with Raccoon and Dunn. It's called Beats, Rhymes, and Pickles. So, mm. you know, you can get your ticket. Push it. It's oh, called, the, the, the whole fond. show's called Pushing the Culture, October 1st. It's Olivier Pro. Oh, no, it's Olivier Bro. It's at Olivier 27, yeah, 27, yeah. 2700 Rue That's Angus, guy. Montreal. Yeah, I should be there. I should be there, too. You should be there. Catch yeah. me by That's the food the, bar. Remember I said Pickles? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're catering there, so. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay. Hit Story, Alex Delem, all these people are going to be there, you know. You know what I mean? Everybody come out. So besides that, what's the word of the end before we end the, the YouTube the projects. segment? Okay, so yeah. The project coming out September 19th. I don't know when this is going to be out, but September 19th, See You When I See You. Chung, produced by Mike Shab and Nicholas Craven. Mm-hmm. We got features by Mike Shab, Jimmy D, and Kevin Nash. Oh, Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash. So, um, you know what I'm saying? Check that out. 
got another uh, EP coming out with Nick. Uh, oh my God, Katola. Katola, getting my names mixed up. With Katola in November, so November December. So just look out for that. Follow me on Instagram. Chung is Chung. And uh, from there, you, you can tap into my shit. Click on my link tree. Link in my bio. Ow, ow, ow. Let's out. What up? Out. Yeah, we are like that. Drap politique.